Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Subnautica. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. And would you look at this? Would you look at our little aquarium that we got going on here? It's uh, it's pretty good if I do say so myself. And uh, fingers crossed we are eventually going to get enough of uh, some sort of a fish farm together that is going to allow us to, uh, you know... You know, snatch a, snatch a fish once in a while and uh, allow us to, to chow down on some, some lovely fish fingers or uh, or something of the kind. I don't know, whatever. I want to eat fish. That's that's all I bloody know. Um, something else that I do know is that we want to make sure that we build another aquarium because these bad boys stack. And at this current moment, we've got two rooms, one on top of each other, and we need to fill that second room up there with the uh, other aquarium that we need to put down. And to do that, we're going to need a bunch more titanium, which I think we have some in the chest. I say chest, locker, you know what I mean. And we've got a little bit of quartz on us, so we're going to turn that into glass. Although, I don't think that we're going to have enough quartz to actually turn it into glass. Did I say my name was Obed Potato? I, I hope I did. I did endeavor to, although sometimes it uh, it slips slips my mind. Um, because I'm just too excited and I want to and I want to just get started. Okay, we need four pieces of glass. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Uh, quartz, 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 quartz. That's what we're sort of looking for right now. But also, we do need to go on a little bit of a little bit, a little bit of an exploratory uh, fun time, because let's face it, let's face it, we did sort of leave the uh, the sea moth. A little bit further away than we should have when we uh, when we died at the end of the last episode. But you know what? I'm really not that worried at all. It's pretty darn close by. And uh, I was quite far away. Well, it's not quite far away. Look, it's just up there. We can see it. Absolutely nothing to worry about. See? Told you. Nothing to worry about. Um, you know, something something that is nice is that we get the opportunity to look around for, uh, for a little bit more quartz. No guarantees that we're actually going to find it over here, but... Bingo! There we go. Already found some. How great is that? Oh my god, our thing is miles away. Absolutely gosh darn miles away. Alright, let's uh, let's just get the survival knife out because why not? I prefer the survival knife. I feel kind of badass when I've got it out, I'm not going to lie. Uh, do we have much inventory space? Uh, I'll drop a bunch of this, this coral stuff. It's common coral. Yeah, and I'll take some air sacs. It's the crash part over there, as we already know. I'll take another air sac, just because I'm a poaching bastard, and I can do it. Uh, still no Cyclops parts. Little bit of a bummer. Hey-ho. Shit happens. Some vines are reaching out through the water over there. Very strange. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're just going to find a little bit more quartz. Because we can. We need it. We need it. We absolutely do need it so that we can uh, continue our aquarium expansion. Now, I'm not going to really fanny around in the dark looking for stuff. That is never a good idea. Because I'm bound to be even more blind than I probably am in the day. So, we're just going to hop in the sea moth and, uh, and head back to the base, I should think. Nothing uh, strange about that. Oh. Do we want to go down here? Do we have a torch on us? Yeah, we actually kind of do. Let's let's map that to three. Let's turn our torch on. Well, in fact, let's be smart. Let's let's do something that I don't usually do. Let's be responsible and smart about this. Let's just go up, take a big deep breath, and head back down. Now we could get some more uh, some more oxygen tanks if we wanted to, but I don't really see the need. Is this going to be a very interesting journey? I don't really know if it is, but... Is this going to be a journey that warrants the sea moth? I mean, it could be, actually. Ah, oh, it's a nice little cave system over here. It's kind of cool. Get the sea glide out. No, nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy in that hole. 
Oh well. You know, we tried. We gave it a little shot. Whoosh. Head back down. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, no, nothing nothing too crazy at all. We're going to go back home. We're going to try and cook up some stuff. Where did we come from? Where did we come from? Is it this way? I can't even remember which way it bloody well is, but we need to... We need to set up beacon at home. Because I feel that we're just drifting further and further away. I have literally zero idea of where I'm going. What the heck is that? Is that a school of fish or whatever? I think it's this way. I've got a feeling that it's this way. That feeling may be completely and utterly wrong. And I am prepared for that possibility. Oh, god damn. Oh, this is spooky. Never been here before, actually. Oh, shit. This is amazing. Are we being attacked? I would kind of like it to be the daytime now. I, I don't really like... Uh, I don't really like it at night. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. It's even spookier than it needs to be. It's already pretty darn spooky, if I'm honest. But also, I, I have zero zero ability to find my way back to uh, back to the base without dying, which is somewhat of a skill that I seem to have adopted. Believe it or not, it must be daytime soon though, yeah. Oh fuck it, let's just dive. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. We've got our sea moth. We should be fine. We're on the lookout for cyclops parts. Just remember that. That is one of the only things that we need right now cyclops parts i don't even know where we're gonna find them could be over here it might not be who bloody well knows at this point wow what a crazy place isn't it this is a gorgeous gorgeous place we go down here Oh, fuck me. This is deep. Oh. Solar panel fragment. We've already got that, but I'll take the... Titanium, I guess. I'm not going to take any more titanium. No, I don't, I don't need any more titanium. Bioreactor. We've already got a bioreactor. What is this? Is this a... Ah, it's metal salvage. I thought it was something more than that for a second. I guess I was wrong. Oh, so wrong. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Solar panel, yeah, it's metal salvage. Nothing, absolutely nothing here. Another solar panel fragment. I would expect a little bit better loot over there, but I guess not. Fine. It sucks, but hey ho. All right, let's go hunting. Except not actually hunting. More adventuring. Excuse me? How are we taking damage? We shouldn't be taking damage. What a lovely rock face. Very, very sheer. We on fire. This is not a... Not a trait that I am very happy about right now. Okay, let's fix this bad boy up. No reason not to, eh? Here we go. Perfect. Let's have a look. I mean, I feel that we've been out this way before, but we've not been... Whoa. We've not been, you know, into this, like, city of... You know, coral. I don't think. Before. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. We are quite deep, and that's something to, to keep in mind as the game loads into the world. Oh! Shit. Fuck me. My god. So strange. So strange. 
We're on 45% energy with no way of finding how we get home. No way of finding any way home, really. It's all a bloody mystery to me. This is a really weird thing up here. No, it's just... It's just a really tall mushroom tower or whatever the fuck that it's called. What? You just turn into night? What the heck? Goal location mushroom tree. What? Why did that just show up? I don't know what that means. That's fine. I'm okay with passing the safe depth. We're just going to continue on like uh, like true explorers. We can try and get to our uh, our little base ship over there. Oh, we need to go up a little bit. I don't want to go through those those mushroom things. No need to, to crash into them unnecessarily. Whoa! I feel that as we're loading in new bits of the world, frame rate just takes an absolute tanking. No Cyclops parts, which is the most depressing ordeal. My god. And seemingly just down here is... A nightmarish hellhole. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, uh... I want to chase after that bad boy, although... We're... Yeah, we're gonna take damage. I want to chase after him, but we can't. We can't. We just cannot go any deeper. That's a, that's a job for the Cyclops. That is absolutely a job for the Cyclops. That is not a job for the little Seamoth. The little Seamoth has done as well, but it's... Uh, it's, not, it's not that great when it comes to depth. Alright. Let's go up to the top, see if we can see the big... Uh, in fact, you know, if we just head in the general direction of the crash part, then we should get roughly near. And if we stay somewhat elevated from the situation it means that we shouldn't crash into anything and we can also stay on the lookout for the good old cyclops parts which uh, which we seem to be having so much difficulty finding ah we should be fine should be fine nothing to worry about 35 percent energy not worried at all gonna hop out see what's over here Cyclops pressure compensator fragment. Great. No fucking idea what that is, but I'll take it. I hear whaley noises. Cool, I guess. Where's my... Yeah, it's up there. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to stay on the lookout for, uh, for those things as well. Whatever the fuck you call them. Looks like there's a couple more over here. This is a different biome, though, so this may be just a completely different kettle of fish. Yeah, sea moth. Yeah, this is this is not rare stuff anymore. Yeah, solar panel and sea moth. That's not rare. So clearly, over there, it's it's rare shit. Over here, it's uh, it's less rare shit. Which is fine, you know. That's all right. It's not great, but nothing we can bloody well do about it. Head, keep on heading over to the crash part, but. You know, really, definitely, top of the agenda right now is is Cyclops. Cyclops stuff. We're only on 32% energy, so we need to be somewhat careful about this. Okay, so we find our way back over to the crash part. It's kind of nice. Now, I don't know if we were incredibly lucky with Cyclops parts over here, but I feel that we weren't too, too bad with them. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Uh, so, around here is uh, is definitely an area that previously we had a little bit of success in finding some Cyclops parts. So, that's obviously no guarantee that we're going to have Cess again, but could be an indicator, I suppose. Let's go to the top just a second because we want to get our bearings a little bit. We want to see if there is any... Uh, sign of the big ship should be maybe behind us nope not over there 
over that away. Perfect. All right. So once again, we find ourselves doing that fateful uh, that fateful hunt for the base before we die uh, of of starvation. Actually, uh, once again. So it's a good thing that we can literally die again and again and again. Oh, how miraculous. We actually found it this time. That is astounding. I didn't think that we could do it. But here we are, chums. Here we are. Here we bloody are. And in all honesty, we should have enough materials to build the aquarium. So let's do it. And you know what? I'm not going to die. I'm absolutely not going to die. Uh, let's go and just make the glass. You know, we're not super hungry. I mean, we are hungry, but we're not super hungry. Uh, and more glass. Perfect. Uh, we may need more glass than this. Starvation is not imminent. Shut up, shut up. It's not imminent. That is unbelievably ridiculous. Alright. Bound that to three. And let's see if we can get another large aquarium. Don't know if it's going to like work right there. We'll try something. Can I... Can I deconstruct this hatch up here? Picked up glass, titanium, two titanium. Now, do we get a 100% return rate? Yeah, it seems that we get a 100% return rate on all of the stuff that we just, you know, you know, if we put something down, then we can pick it all back up if we deconstruct it, which is kind of nice. Excuse me? There we go. Okay, let's stick the air sacs that we got, stick them in. I'm going to grab one of those and another one of those because I am hungry. Uh, do we have any salt on us? I don't think we have any salt on us. New creature discovered. Shut up. Cooked food, cooked air sac, cooked air sac, cooked boomerang. That's the ticket. That's what we need. Now, cured food. Cured food would be kind of cool. I imagine that that is somewhat better than just... Than the, just the stuff that we're doing at the moment. But hey-ho. Okay, so we need to keep a, a measure of that, but for now, that should be fine. Let's go outside. Let's build a hatch into the topmost multi-purpose room, which is what this thing is called, I think. Uh... On the top? Can we do it on the top? I guess not. Uh, wait, is this a hatch? Apparently it is. There we go. Alright, let's get in here. And we can walk on top of our aquarium. How cool is that? Probably not that cool. Whatever. There we go. Perfect. And now we've got a super freaking large aquarium. That should mean that the fishies can do more of what they love to do. And I was told very, very authoritatively that uh, as long as... Uh, excuse me. I want to deconstruct this area if possible. Thank you. I would like to deconstruct this. That's great. I was told very authoritatively that... Um, if you put more than two type of more than two type more than two more more than two fish of the same type goodness gracious potato just spit it out two fish of the same type then they breed and honestly i am i'm onto that i am 100 percent behind that let's get that in there and now we can get access to this top level should we want to do such a thing maybe if we wanted to uh, to view or whatever i don't know it's something nice that we can that we can do now. Um, something else that we need to think about is the fact that we've got you know this entire downstairs area that we really haven't exploited as of yet, but we really are going to. Believe you me, I didn't just build that entire stinking pipe for nothing. We are we are gonna be we're gonna be right on top of that, definitely for sure. Um, Seamoth modification system, uh, yeah, maybe I guess that would be kind of cool. In fact, what does it take to build a computer chip? We might be able to build it now. If we can build it now, then it's kind of that's kind of awesome. Uh, I don't think we have enough for glass. We need one more bit of quartz for glass. Do we have one more bit of quartz? I don't think we have one more bit of quartz. If we had one more bit of quartz, that would be really cool. How do we build a computer chip? 
computer chip is quartz, silver, or table coral sample. Okay, so that's probably going to be the next station. Uh, the next station, the next, uh, the next piece of work trying to upgrade our uh, whatever you call it, our Seamoth. That's the ticket. Um, but Cyclops is definitely the long-term goal, and we've been fairly unsuccessful in achieving that. I'll be honest, fairly unsuccessful in achieving that. What? Is our base up there? I guess our base must be up there. That's why the sand is so... So smooth. Okay, well that's cool. Alright, well at least, we, at least we know our game plan. Rather than going for the Cyclops, which is an ambitious goal, I think. It really is a very, very ambitious goal. We're going to have to settle for more realistic expectations and start working on the Seamoth. You know, start collecting resources uh, that we need for the Seamoth. Uh, wait, what is that? Is that? No, I thought I saw a Cyclops part over there. I guess I was just dreaming or something. Um, but, you know, that's that's the game plan. Work on the Seamoth upgrade station. Uh, let's, before we, before we end the episode, before we end the episode, let's just go back to the base for just a second. And let us get together the resources that we actually need for a flipping for a flipping base marker, right? Because for too long, I've just been getting lost and I have no idea where to go. Uh, and when I come back to the base, I, I have no fucking idea where to look. So let's go to deployables. Let's try and look for a beacon. We need copper wire. Uh, do I even have copper on me? I have no copper on me, but I guarantee you we've got copper in here. Okay, I guarantee you we do not have copper in there. Fuck me. We need to find some copper. We just absolutely need to find some copper because I'm bloody sick and tired of fucking around. Just not having a beacon all the way back to home. It's really, it's costing me, it's costing me a lot. A lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of energy. Um, quartz, it's kind of nice. Take more of that any day of the week. Titanium. Just more metal salvage, unfortunately. Some more quartz, but it's not quartz that I need. It's it's copper wire. That's the ticket. It's the ticket that allows us to stop fucking around and, and just come back to the base. It really is. That would help us out a, a lot. We're quite close to the ship over here, actually. It's kind of cool. Come on, just give me some just give me some limestone deposits or whatever. Nice and simple. Limestone deposits. Oh, jeez. Limestone deposits. I don't really want to dive too deep for them, because otherwise we'll start to get not copper wire. And let me tell you right now, I want, yes, copper wire. It's pretty much what I'm all about. Is this too deep? Probably is. Come on. Am I just completely failing to find, or am I completely failing to see the limestone deposit? Oh, shit. Scared me shitless. Scared me shitless, that did. Oh, well, at least we know that the sea moth is by the base at the moment, which is some sort of an improvised beacon, I guess. But it's just it's just not good enough. We need to find a beacon before we before we leave for our next expedition. Because that is Warning. that is major. Yeah, shut up. Nothing around here. Noth absolutely nothing around here. Oh. Tight that's fucking useless. I don't want titanium. Emergency. Copper ore. Oh. Bubble, 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 bubble. Bubble right now. Bubble me, baby. Bubble me. Emergency. Fucking hell. Oh my god. You piece of shit. You don't bubble me when I ask. Disgusting. Alright. I don't think that we've got enough for copper wire, unbelievably. I think we need a little bit more for copper wire. I think we need two copper for copper wire. 
don't quote me on that though. That could be horrifically inaccurate. No more, no more limestone deposits, really? My god. My god, I have absolutely cleaned this place up. Seemingly so. That is, that is real annoying. Well, if, if copper wire only requires one piece of copper, then I guess we're sorted. If it doesn't, then we're in trouble. Yep, there we go, there we go. I was fucking right, wasn't I? I was goddamn right. I knew it. I just knew it. I could feel it in my bones. I could feel it in my bones, folks. Doing a little bit of nighttime hunting for some copper. How exciting is that? If this is copper... Silver... Are you kidding me? Silver ore. We need to go up a little bit then, I guess. Copper ore. Perfect. Let's head back to base, boys. Let's head back to base. Easy as that, eh? You see, game, when, when you give me what I want, then I will give you what you want. Which is a happy time. I'm sure you want a happy time. Isn't that right? Welcome aboard, Captain. I am glad to be back aboard. Alright. Good. Deployables. Beacon. And we need to we need to place it now. Because, let's face it, we absolutely need it. Let's hop outside. Number two. Deploy right on top of our base. Plop. And we want to rename, if at all possible. How do we do that? Is that the right click? B2. Edit beacon label. There we go. Uh, this is going to be called home. Simple as that. Home. And we should be able to find the base from here on in, which is fantastic. All right, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over to Potato. And, oh, wow, they're breeding. You can see there's up to, we're up to five boomerangs now, which is, uh, which is kind of neat. Kind of neat, actually. I like it a lot. And that's a baby, that's a baby fish, whatever that fish is called. But that is seriously, seriously awesome. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over to Potato. This has been Subnautica. And until next time, bye.